I really thought we had a situation knocked, locked, and dead bang. And look what happens. Look what happens. I don't know what you're talking about. You're a clown. You're always clowning around. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on. Who opened their mouth? Who always does? <laughs> that is such bull. We had them apart. I had that sucker settled down in what? You had to do it. Oh, God's gift to women. You had to give his chick to once over Can I help it if she wants to flip me upside down, drain me of all my bodily fluids? Chicks dig me, partner. Dream like, on, Labrie. The blue plague. That's right. They all do. We were lucky to get out of there alive. You know, Parnellis, you're the one that totally messed up the report. You can't even write a simple FI right. Round file, I don't get I do! You know, I'm trying to do some serious police work. They got me saddled with some dumb derelict. Well, you know, we need to stick that slick. What did you just say? You heard me. Slick? Nobody calls me that, you froggy little squirt. Hey! I'm gonna pretend that I didn't hear that. It's too late. Not to mention your mother. Now that tears it. Oh, who are you kidding with that cannon? You've opened your oversized mouth one too many times. I'm surprised you can even lift that. Hey, Pardonalis, wait a minute. Surprise. Pardonalis, put that thing away. Come on, man, it was just a joke. Put it away. Don't do this. My mother. Eat it! No! Phil, I, uh, I'm sorry, I, I just can't have any witnesses. <laughs> okay, now that boy, that boy can run! I think the ball was the best I've ever done. It was I a don't know, I gave it I want to see you two. My office. Right now. I can't believe you. Look at these packages. Eugene Partnalis, Raymond Labrix. You two got anything to say for yourselves? It, it's Labrie, sir. What? Labrie, Grand Prix, Labrie. Labrie. You know, I've got just the place for you two jokers. The Midwatch. And finally, the hat. An officer looks good with a hat on. People don't look at your feet, your waist, your chest. They look at you, eye to eye, eye to eye contact. Now, if I take off my hat, nobody will know I'm a policeman. Hey, the guy so ugly, his mother had a pie pork chop around his neck just to get the dog to lick. You should love why did you look for it in the first place? No, no, more bones. Hey, nice shooting, guys. Yeah, no, no, nice fall. Nice Congratulations, <laughs> fellas. You guys oh, finally graduated. No. Graduated. Hey! Hey, hey, Jerry Tavazin. Sit your butts down. Too much work. My name's Dobson. Some of you are new to Midwatch. I've seen your ratings and your packages. You probably enjoyed the cushy details. Handing out parking violations. Maybe even a speeding ticket. Real crime fighting. But now you're on the watch. Nobody wants. The one where citizens get hot under the collar. Rip off whatever they can get their hands on. And are not beyond blowing each other or you up for the hell of it. The fun time. I hear you can't cut it. I got a proposition for you. 
Go out, bust some bad guys. Bring me some numbers. I'll leave you alone. Do some real police work, and I'll back you up down the line. Mm. And one thing, you step on your stick out there, tell me. Tell me the truth. You come clean with me so I can ask the right questions and cover you. Now, get the hell out of here. Ooh, would you look at this? Now she looks mean. I could just sort of silver tongue her. Oh, come on, can't you ever stop? Can I help it if she wants to flip me upside down and drain me of all my fluids? Right. And you're saddled with a dumb derelict, right? And there she goes into the dope capital of the world. And look who's here. TZ. I'd love to nail him. King of the after school specials. I wonder what he's up to. The evening by? Why not? TZ. Oh, uh, so, so let's bust him. What for? For breaking my leg. Wasn't his fault, Slick. Oh. Just uh, your own innate talent. Now maybe next time we'll call for backup. I'm gonna get him. I am gonna bust TZ. Not on foot, you're not. Uh, oh, God. Way 35, see the woman 1986 Inglewood, possible 921. 1986 Inglewood, not again. 2A35, that's a Roger. Against my better judgment. Your mother called again? <laughs> the 99th time. Now, now, you're sure you're all right? I wouldn't want you to get involved in anything too dangerous, especially the condition you're in. Would you stow it? <laughs> Hello, Mary. Oh, no one calls me Mary. Oh, the world friend. You're a nice boy. All right, uh, what seems to be the trouble? Uh, they're over there again. They? They are. Next door. Mm -hmm. All right, um, we're going to go over and take a look, Mary, but you stay inside until we get back, all right? Oh, here's the key. Inside. You chase them away and tell them never to come back. She's totally dingy. Yeah, she's not so bad, just a little scared and a little crazy. Oh, You're not going in there. Check the back, will you? Maybe I should diagonally deploy. Thank <laughs> you. 
They're gone, Mary. Oh, good. I'm so relieved. You know, you ought to rent that place out, and then you wouldn't have to worry. What a wonderful idea. Do you know anyone who would want to? A couple of beautiful boys. That would be perfect. <clears throat> that would be unlikely. We'll keep our eye out for someone. Good night, Mary. Bye, Bye. 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 Uh, if you're interested, champ, I think there's a fight going on in that restaurant. 2835, we got a 415 man, Rimpar and Corona. 2835, we copy. Don't you point your mop at me! I don't want to serve you! Ash browns, over easy and toast, right toast! Hey, 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 big fella, put the mop down! You gotta help me out here. Yeah, put the mop down. Uh, he, he, he wants to see the color of my money before I get any service. I said down. Whose side are you on? Huh? Oh, I... Now you're going to jail. I got him. See, he's drunk. He got no money. He takes my mop. Well, you can have your mop back. We'll take him. Muchisimas gracias. All right, hands on the counter. You know, you get the easy part of this every time. What's your name? Officer Labrie. Oh, wise guy, great. At least he pronounced it right. What's your name? Mike. Where do you live, Mike? Around the area. I think what we got here is a little more than a simple HBD. Sounds serious, all right. Hey, come on, come on, a little drinkings. <laughs> How much would it take to cut me loose? Huh? You got no dinero, remember, Mike? And you just attempted to bribe an officer. I used to be a cop. Right, my grandmother used to fly B-52s. I was. All right, Slick, let's hear it. What's code seven? Lunch, code four. No further assistance necessary. C-clamp. It's illegal. Bar arm. What your partner did to me. Where's home, Mike? You can't take me home. But you can take me to where I live. Thanks. Hey, thanks. Thanks again, you guys. Uh, I don't suppose uh, you, you, you couldn't spare twenty dollars. Get out of here. <laughs> Counting down. <laughs> Five more minutes, we can take one right, one left, and hit that station almost legitimately. Kiss this eight hours goodbye. God bless it. Chalk up our first mid-watch, huh? Did you see that violation? She just... Ripped through that stop sign. She just dribbled through that stop sign. Definite code three. I'm hitting the reds. The PC? After the smiles. It's like there's no stopping you. Just hit the reds and check the technique. Huh? Ah! I'm gonna need to see your driver's license, miss. Were we speeding, officer? Uh, you girls must be stewardesses. Flight attendant. We're in from Houston, the last flight. 
Those are nice uniforms. <laughs> it, it's hopeless. I, I can never find anything in here. Well, uh... Now, that's a problem because you're required to have one and... We need to know your name and address. My name's Mary Beth Hinson. <laughs> and your phone number? You mean you're not going to arrest us? No, no, that's not exactly what we had in mind. Oh. Well, then. Tonight? Don't you guys ever quit? Just a couple of cops doing our jobs. I'm late. You're late. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm uh, fine. I thought midwife was over at two. It is. Well, um, it's supposed to be. We were kind of shorthand and had a little run-in. What happened? Uh, no, no. Look, uh, don't come near me. Just, uh, get out with some turkeys. They, uh, they just they threw a couple of liquor bottles at us. Hit Ray, and he's, and he's lucky to be okay. But uh, a couple of them broke, and you know I've, I smell like a still. And, you smell more like perfume. <laughs> well, here's, here's uh, one of those after dinner um, what, liqueurs or, yeah. Oh. Anyway, I, I had to do, uh, you know, all the reports myself and it took forever and I'm sorry, I, I should have called. Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I'm fine, yeah. It's, it's you know, it's... Uh, what, a shower, a breakfast, some sleep? Um, yeah. Well, I'm making eggs. You want some? Uh, you have time? Sort of. Oh, look, honey, forget about it, all right? Um, you, you go on ahead, and I'm, I, uh, I'll see you tonight. Honey, I'll make breakfast, okay? Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Get out of here. I'm not going to feed you. Give me a break, will you? You know too much. Come on, bag. It's all ready, but I got to go. Thanks. What happened to your back? My back? Your lovely, lying, scratched back. The dog did it. I'm so glad you made the decision to move in and protect me. A nice boy like you. That seemed like a good idea. I didn't have my choice. Now, would a hundred dollars be too much? I really should check with my lawyer. No, no. I can swing it. Well, you be careful now. D don't let them get you. I'll protect us both, Mary. Oh, good. Uh, are you sure there aren't any other boys who would like to move in? I, uh, it's a big house. Doubt it. I really want to be alone. Mm. 
stuff over and squat for a couple of days. What do you think? One day, one day tops, just to... <laughs> hey, when I say the words, do you hear them? Hello? Two eight three five. This one's Roger. mine. You call him. You tell him. You tell him this one's mine. I'm ready. Yeah, but yeah, but Sixteen bucks. What's that smell? Where are we? It stinks in here, man. It's you. It's not me. It is too. It's you. Where are we, Dale? I don't know where we're don't going. Don't call me, Dale. Just get us out of here. What do you think? Two patties, one in stocking. I think that's our boys. That's definitely our boys. Wait a minute. I don't like being caboose. 211 suspect sighted on 34th, heading north, approaching Rim Park. Your call is now code 3. I got news for you, sweetheart. They're not approaching Rim Park anymore. Let's boogie our own way. What are you talking about? Look! Well, go! Just get us out of here! Go! 211 suspects on Alvaro heading south. Your call is still code 3. I love this. have no idea where they're going. They ought to sell tickets. I tell you what, let's just wait here and see what happens. 211 suspects are in Green Mustang, license plate Mary, Ocean John, 217, heading east on 29th. Correction, south on Manchester. Your call is still code 3. 26 is too soon. 27th is one way, the wrong way. 28th 
is us. No, just go! Hey, I know where we are! Hurry, 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 hurry! What are we at now? One more block. Him. It's not me! It's both of you! What are you doing? This is our collar! We had him in our sight! No way! No way! Come on, we called us in! Did you see that Phoenix 500 HG? Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! What? Hey, 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 hey. You guys want him so bad? Take him! Take his weapon, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, you stink! Oh, oh jeez! You stink! Oh. Oh. Get your hands on your head! Come on, get him up! Woo. Uh, Ray! See? Huh? This is no ding. We can't hide this. Oh, oh, forget the turkeys. We've damaged one of the department's precious vehicles. So this, this is great. Use my side of the car to run him off the road. Lightning, what happened? We chased him for like 80 blocks, sir. Then they finally just crashed? Uh, that's right. What happened to the black and white? Whose is it? Uh, this one? This, this, uh, this one's ours. Yes, Labrie? Uh, we, we made contact with the suspect's vehicle. Yes, Labrie? Uh, what happened was that um, they were coming in the opposite direction, and then we sort of uh, kind of hit them one of those things. Right off. Yeah. Head on? Well, it would have been head on, but they chickened out last minute. Boy, we would have really popped them then. Let me get this straight. This was your strategy? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. You'll have to fill out a 4-5. You give it to me and I'll take a look at it, but it's policy. It has to go to Lieutenant Needles. <sighs> Thank you, Sergeant. Thank you, Sergeant. Oh, man, not needles. That's... Days off, baby, days off. That's what that is. Come on, LaBrie! Thus is gonna come out of there. He's gonna hand it to you, and he's gonna ask you to just sign your initials. Days off, no pay. I mean, a headlight is three, but a uh, bumper, man, I don't know, that's like five minimum. Total eight, minimum, days off, no pay, minimum. Would you stop? I mean, you know, you gotta learn the rules. I mean, we all gotta learn the rules. We gotta know you never get involved in any pursuit. You just shoot $2,500 of estimated damage. They did a tight job to get away with so little. No recourse, unavoidable hit. They should get days off on principle. Now they'll probably rack up every vehicle this department's got. These guys will do nothing right unless you lay it to them. You're blowing through intersections, people are honking their horns, hand gestures, and they're referring to your ancestry and raising serious doubts about your origin, and they're talking about your mom. But I love it, you know. I just... I'm... <laughs> ah. Ah. You saw it. Right, here we go. <laughs> oh, it's all over. <laughs> Turn that thing off. So you can't keep it quiet in here. 
Sergeant. Shut up, Labrie. You know why we carry nine millimeters instead of 38s now? They pack 15 rounds plus one in the chamber. That's right, they give you 16 chances. But I want to talk about carrying a second gun. There are different ones. They have different characteristics, capabilities, positive, negative. They can make a difference. You should know them all. Here's the Magnum. By the way, good bust on the 211 suspects. Righteous job down the line. Came back entirely in policy. Now, the Magnum. Not authorized, but you should know about it. It's a hunk of a weapon. Careful. Here, watch. There you go. What's your name? Joanne. Joanne. You were here the other day. I was not. We saw you. So? Whoa. Looks like you got a pretty good buzz on there. What are you talking about? I'm talking about where is TZ? I don't know no TZ. Huh? You already been here? <coughs> Why don't we empty the pockets, okay? I got nothing to hide. See? Yeah, I see. Now the arms. Stay away from my arms. You know, Joanne, you could be not a bad-looking squeeze. If you clean yourself up a little bit, I myself might even take you out to buy a nice steak dinner. How about that? Let me help you with your coat. Go here. kiss it. Look at that, Joanne. Those are marks. They're so fresh, they haven't even scabbed yet. We hate to do it, but we are going to have to bust you. Hey. Hey! Where's TZ? He already make his drop? If you tell us, we'll let you go free. You ugly piece of spit. What are you laughing at? Read our rights. Ah, you silver-tongued devil. I cannot continue to live out of the back of my car because you think that I am not allowed west of the freeway without visa papers. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, come on, you're lonely. You look lonely. I look at you, I see lonely. I mean, I'm great company. I don't know. Come on, man, think about it. Look, it would cut your rent, okay? To what, $33 a month? So, Pazini, you wouldn't want to. You have to slow down and clean up your act. But that's what I want to do, don't you understand? This constant capering is driving me to distraction. I just need some peace and quiet. You know the place is haunted? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is me you're talking to. This is the lean type of zine. Don't kid me. There are rules you'd have to follow. Right. This doesn't include your friends. No, 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 no. You and Barney and that's it. That, that's it. Nobody else from Midwatch. No, nobody else. Shh. No. Maybe. Please. Maybe we could try it for a month. Yes. And we could see. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good. You were absolutely the last one. Absolutely. I see. Oh, man. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, Gene, don't worry. It's just, you know, a couple more trucks full. Sure, come on in, come on in, come on in. Hey. How many times have I asked you not to put your feet up on the furniture? Look, we got your rent down to fourteen forty a month. What more could you ask for? Yeah, and Mrs. Hathaway loves all of us beautiful boys. That is because she doesn't know you. I mean, it, oh great. It never stops. Poor, poor Parnali. All right, it's got to stop. It's got to stop, guys. Way to a crash. 
place was uninhabitable. Filthy, a mess. I move in and clean it up, and now it's uninhabitable again. It's even worse. Sounds great. Oh, what's that? Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like a patty trying to take the head off of a parking meter with an axe. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Correct me again if I'm wrong, but uh, that looks like our good friend. Yeah, yeah, Mike Falachi. Mike Falachi. Okay. Hey, Mike. Whoa, what you doing there? Just get out of my way. You can't be doing that, Mike. I said get out of my way. Hey, whoa. Whoa, now there you go. That's it. All right, uh, let's go. You got him, Eugene? We're not going to be needing the cuffs now, Mike, are we? I know you. Watch your head, watch your head. Why don't we uh, roll on over there with Scruggs here and take a look? Sweet sweater, never. I worship her shorts, you know. What shorts? Um, those, man. Why are you taking me? Don't worry about a thing. Trust me. What was that? We have ghosts here. Oh, bull. I'm serious. Look. I don't know which is worse. This, um, manor. Or one of you monsters. I don't live here. Oh, you don't? Oh, I'm moving in. <laughs> Not the hat. Not yet. I had a little trouble that first turn, I must admit, but I got my second run and I still got a chance at the championships. Excuse me. What are you doing, man? Do diddly. Whoa, light of my life. Uh. Hello? Hi. Jimmy? Yep. Could you hold on a minute? Pardon me. Hi. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm just, you know, spending a quiet evening at home. Yeah. What noise? No, it's just, just a record player, yeah. Uh, what's the matter? Honey, I can tell. All right, all right, all right, all right. Don't tell me, okay? Oh, well, sure, sure we can. Tomorrow's fine. Yeah. Um, uh, why don't we make it, um, 10, ten o'clock? Come over here. No, that, 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 that's fine. Yeah, you're, you're the one with the car, right? Yeah, yeah I know you're not talking about getting back together. Yeah, right. Uh, other things. Yeah, I miss you too. Jeannie. Some of the guys had a party last night. Yeah. yeah, some party. I thought you wanted to talk. I did. All right. Then uh, let me just put on some clothes and we'll go have breakfast. Sit and talk. What do you say? Jeannie? Jean! There you are. You left me all alone. Yes, Jean. Well, Jean. How about it, Jean, huh? Shove it, you, Jean. Jean. What a great place. The freedom. The girls. The independence. The girls. The monster man. Stop yelling. <laughs> That's it. Monster man. Pop my bubble, break my humps, and me scratching and howling for help. I love it. Mm. Where's my gun? Where's my gun? <laughs> I had to teach that beauty last night some excellent interrogation techniques. Difficult work. Very difficult. It's a wonder you were ever married. <laughs> she says to me, I'm not taking this hat off until you put a smile on my face. Because Damned if I didn't make that girl laugh Liberty. just like one that. No wonder it didn't last. So right after that, she grabs me. Look, I don't want to hear anymore, okay? That's it. Three units, man with a gun in the parking lot at 4201 Spring. Over. 2A35, copy. Let's hit it. So what you doing here? Partner wants to know what you're doing here. Oh, oh that's nice. Yeah. Very nice. All right, on your feet. Come on. So what do you think? I think this calls for some excellent interrogation techniques.
Arrivederci. Where are you going? Well, if it matters, and I don't think it does, it's none of your business. Well, you look uh, terrific. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, you look terrible. <laughs> he was right there in front of me, Jeannie. This, uh, this kid with a shotgun, and he had me. I mean, uh, I mean, he could have wasted me so easy. And I could see his eyes, and he was just as, as scared as I was, and he didn't do it. See? He didn't cap off, and, uh... And then he got blown away. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Were you the shooter? No. Gene, you... You can't just come and go anytime you want because stuff's not going right for you. Or you run out of floozies. in there, I can smell her. I know that. All right, let's bust it in. What do you want? Mrs. Monciano. Where's Ricky? He's not here. How did you find us? Maybe you should move more than just down the hall next time. Ricky! We'd like to see him. He's a good boy. Yeah, he might be if you'd let him. Let's go. No, come on, please. No, please. Please, please don't Hi, take Ricky. him. He's come just on. a kid, please, officer. Right. No, come on, please. No, please. please. All right, let's go out here. Oh, nice and easy. Make it easy. Oh, please don't take it. Don't. Right outside. Right outside. Don't take it. Listen to me. We can hum him in right now, and you know it. He's under the influence. He's not. He's not. He didn't do nothing. He is. Look at him. How old is he, huh? He's never been in jail. How'd you get him started on the stuff? I tell you what, you tell us where TZ is and we'll let him slide. Who's TZ? See, Helen, we gave you your chance. I don't know where he is. All right, then. When does he come? You let Ricky go? You tell us and we'll talk about it. He comes, but he doesn't come regular. There's a girl, you know, comes before to make sure everything's good. What girl? A uh, white girl with a shiny jacket. Joanne? She's his main squeeze. All right. He'll stay here. You come with us. Come on. He'll be taken care of. All right, buddy. To the left. That's it. Mike! He's gonna go through those doors and into whichever one is his and go to it again and end up in the drunk tank again. You got a bottle, Mike, huh? Where is it? There aren't any. Oh, Mike, every good house he's got a stash somewhere, huh? Underneath the lampshade, maybe under the seat cushion. We always find balloons out on the fire escape. Okay, we're off the board. Terrific. Cops. I... 
Just leave me alone, will you? Sure, Mike. Whatever you say. What happened? How long had you been on the job? I don't want to talk about it, all right? Well, you're just as friendly sober as you are drunk, Mike. Wake up, pal. We're here to help you. I, I was drunk, right? On duty? No, uh, but that, that wasn't it. What was it, Mike? <laughs> You're... Look, I was the original macho guy. You wouldn't believe it. I mean, muscles out to here, the wife, kids, whole nine yards. And I get saddled with this, this lady cop, Julie, right? I mean, this is a man's job. She, she couldn't carry your load. I knew it, and I didn't want her. Make a fool of me on the street, right? Boy, she... She did her job. She held her own. I couldn't believe it. Tough lady, really. She had this shape, you know. This, all the guys used to kid her. One day my ex-partner picked her up and he shook her. He, you want to see an earthquake, he says. She just laughed. I didn't. I punched him out. Yeah, I fell for her. I, I just fell for her all the way. I left home, my wife, my kids. Everything I believed, everything I loved, it just threw it all away. And then Julie left me for a younger cop. And nothing went right after that. I, I just, I was always a drinker. And then all of a sudden, I just was drinking like a fish. And I couldn't stop. Wine and women. My sad story. Could you stop now? I don't know. Mike, if you were in DOD, there's a chance you can get back on the job. I mean, maybe, maybe you should have just taken a couple days off or something. I don't know. We could uh, make some calls, Mike. Talk to the Protection League. Maybe something could be done if you could stay off the booze. I'm no good as anything but a cop. Uh, okay. Uh, you're Jerry aren't you? Uh, uh, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm no, I know who you are. Oh, you do? God, yes, you. But the, uh, the, uh, Bar uh, Officer Barbara Elton. I guess you do know who I am. Yeah. I know who you are, too. You do? Yeah, yeah, I heard all about that. Fight that you had with a sumo wrestler and how you took him on. I guess sitting in desk must be pretty boring after that, huh? Yeah, well, you know, he almost took me. But I got him, that big dude diddly. I mean, <laughs> I mean, the other guys, they were doing the best they could. But this guy was a giant. I mean, he, he was just throwing those guys off. He was. Boom, 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 like that. You know, he was splat against the wall like dog food. I mean, I jumped on his back, right? I'm holding on to him. I'm riding him like he's some kind of Brahma bull. I mean, this guy was huge. He really was. Yes. Aren't you one of the guys that live up at that place? You know, what do they call it? The, um... Monster Manor. I am. I am. I was the first to move in. Well, one of the first. Well, actually... Are all those stories true? I mean, even the half of them. I mean, I've heard some pretty amazing they stories. They are true. Every one, every night. How did it get its name? Oh, that. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. I don't think I could tell you that. Sure you No, no, no. I couldn't. Not the way it really happened. Okay. Well... Could I see it? 
D uh, the house, yeah. I'd love to. That'd be great. Oh, well, I would be pleased and honored and thrilled and delighted and <laughs> to ask you to come over and I would give you a personally guided tour. Ma'am? What would be your intentions, sir? Mahrom. You Officer Eugene Pardonals? That's right. And you live at uh, 1988 Inglewood? Yeah, that's right. Good. We've been looking all over for you. I want to ask you about your residence. Oh, you guys, come on. There's no more room. I don't get it. No, forget it. Nothing. Nothing. We've heard some things about the address. I understand you were the first one there, the one in charge. In charge? The force behind it. What? Wait a minute, you guys. I'm not... Uh... Oh, no, you, you're not from internal affairs, are you? No. Then what kind of an investigation is this? I'm Donnelly, Vice. <sighs> Vice? They're trying to bust some out-call massages. They're smart. They won't go just anywhere, and they call back to confirm real telephone numbers. Now, your house, Monster Manor, well, here it's been running some of the business. <laughs> Girls are using it in trade. Wait a minute, you're kidding, right? Come on. That's crazy, all right? It's nuts, Donnelly. We're giving you a chance here to set things right. Pay a little back rent, put a little good news in your file. Your house. Its address and location are a perfect cover. Not an apartment, not suspicious. We'll take it over for the evening. So the, uh, the girls will just, yeah, we'll be there to nail them. It's perfect. Okay, Sergeant. Why not? Why not? This is great. We got front row. Let the parades begin. Great night for Labrie to be stuck at home, huh? <laughs> Beginning with the Grand Marshal. I get some of these cars out of here and down the block. Put a couple guys in that rope. It's even better than I thought. Where is Claude? Is he... There? <laughs> no, silly daddy. He's in the basket. Oh, no, silly Carrie. He can't be in the basket. Yes, he is. See? How do you do it? You're right. That rascal Claude is in the basket daddy, again. Daddy, what's the big deal? You know that cat always hides in the basket. She's read that book a hundred times. It's my turn. Read to me. Okay, okay, I will. Let me just make one quick phone call. I'll be right back in a flash, and you keep reading about Claude. Okay, we're ready. Let's get this show on the road. You all have to vacate the premises, huh? Come on in. Hey, man, but we've been waiting for this. Sorry, this is a vice operation now. Out, scram. I'm ready. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Yeah, I've been wondering how Miss Hathaway is. Why don't we go over there and say hello? Oh, hey, hey right. guys, come on, come on, huh? She's an old lady. Hey, watch the flowers, will you? Show a little respect, your police officer. Yes, we're a group of businessmen, and we're having a party, and we're looking for some ladies. Oh, a dozen, at least. We'll make use of all of them. Uh, 1988 Ingerwood, near 11th. We'll be waiting. Julie, this is Raymond Labrie, Pat and Carrie's dad. Yeah. Hi. Thanks. Um, listen, I, I was wondering if you could uh, come over and babysit for me. I just got a call from the station, and they need me to come in. 
So, oh, oh, well, have a great time. Dad. Um, yeah, no, th that's fine. Thanks anyway. Um, maybe next time. Thanks a lot, Julie. Bye. Daddy, come read to me. Oh. Of course. <laughs> it's so nice of you boys to drop in. Just wonderful. Well, we don't get a chance to see him, Mrs. Hathaway, nearly as often as we'd like. That's right. I saw some strange men over there through my curtains. Well, that, that, that's, that's the inspection team. They came out to inspect us to make sure we're living clean lives. Oh, how ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's not necessary. Of course you boys do. Mm. <laughs> Hello? Yes, right. We'll be waiting. You check and double check. The broads are coming. I'm telling you, it's three hours tops, Donna Murray. All I gotta do is go in and file a report. I'm back. That's it. Yeah, I, I know it's short notice. <laughs> it's a cop's life for you, huh? I mean, just when you think you're gonna spend a quiet evening with the kids, out of the blue comes some paperwork. No, 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 no. That, that's no problem. Thank you. I'm off. I think I'll go take a look and see how the inspection team is doing. I think we better inspect the inspection team. Yeah, I think. Oh, would you look at that? What is it? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God! Let's not be too Ooh. obvious, all right? Full treatment. Yeah, whatever you say. Yeah, that's going to cost you $125. All right, that's per. But, um, you know, maybe we can work up a party, right? Mm. All right. <laughs> you're under arrest. Let's go. Now, you're going to regret this, and that's going to be your loss. And yours, and yours. Aren't we getting close? Fogging up the window? What we need is a pair of binoculars. Oh, I've got a pair. Now, what are you boys looking at? Nothing. Nothing. It's not them, is it? No, 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 no. Uh, they're just watching the, uh, the inspection team's methods to learn. C could I get something to drink? Oh, I could fix tea. Oh, thank you. Yes, tea. please. Fantastic. That's not uh, what I... Let's go, Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light and the red balloon. Good night, bear. Daddy, what's the protagonist? Uh, I don't know. We'll look it up tomorrow, okay? Good night, bears. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. Good night, kittens. And good night, mittens. Come on, Barney, share it, would you? Come on, man, hurry up. You'll get your turn. There they go. Fine. It's just, um, it's just up ahead. Three hours maximum. As I am an officer of the law, you have my word on that. 
Two and a half. Two. You will. Great. I'll see you in a little while then. Thank you. Oh, rock and roll. Ah, uh, look, you better go in. I gotta find a parking place. I'll be right back. You sure? Yeah. Well, hurry up, okay? Okay. Here, it's not very safe to be in there alone. <laughs> On the wings of eagles. Oh, my God! What? It... This can't be. It... Oh. No. What? Ooh. What? No. What? Well, boys, if I didn't know better, I'd say that's the Division Iceberg, Officer Barbara Altoon. No! <laughs> Let me see. No, I swear. Let me see, that, man. No, it's Altoon. I swear. Let me see. It's Altoon. Tell him you've been working hard, know what's coming across with the cash, and what's he going to do about it? That ought to get him down here. Hey, and don't blow it, huh? Can there be more? Hello, I'm Babs Altoon. I don't think I know you. You one of them? Do you live here? Yes. <laughs> this place is great. Only 20 bucks a head? What a deal. Yeah, that is a deal, but... Uh... You're under arrest, Babsy, for soliciting. <laughs> That's not a funny joke. And don't call me Babsy. Cuffer. Hey, I'm a policewoman. Yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. Put it in the back of the rest. Hey, hey, this isn't funny! Hey, what are you guys doing? This isn't funny! Well, then, what's the top of the <laughs> <laughs> hey, He's walking up to the front door. You told him about tonight, didn't you? I didn't. I thought you did. He's going to blow the whole thing, you guys. <laughs> Come on. Hey, hey, guys. Did you see this? Hey, who are you? Who are these guys, man? Where's Babs? Babs! She's one of your string. You're under arrest. Oh, man. Don't move. It's... Don't go for it. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Whoa. I'm a cop, man. Yeah, yeah you too. <laughs> well, you run a string on the side? What's your name? Call me Red. Hi, Red. Call me Big. Hiya, Big. Call me anything you want, darling. What's he trying to do, blow our whole deal? What deal? And what about the broad? Is she with him, too? Where's Babs? Where is she? Babs? Come on, sweetie. What are you doing here? The top of Zini was going to show me around a little. I think I know him. Get me out of here. I can do that. What about me? Well, what about us? Well, Labrie. Yeah, like Certainly. Jeannie, could you hold on a minute? Hi. I, uh, I tried to call you. 
I did. Yeah, I, I, uh, I know it was kind of a bad scene. You look great, Babs. What? I mean, I've never seen you in a dress before. How do you do this? Well, do what? I mean, you sit in a stinking black and white all day and you eat the junk that we eat and you, you hang out with hypes all day long and you look like that. Exercise and diet, I stay in shape. Well, maybe you can show me how to stay in shape. Maybe we should just get out of here, Ray. Well, maybe later. I... Maybe I should just get myself out. Yeah, I, I know it's kind of a half-assed situation, Jeannie, but a lawyer... No, no. that That's not what I want, Jeannie. All right? I don't want to... Here you go. Finally. Here come to pimp. Tea is served. <sighs> Can't we just have that breakfast? Um, and we'll work something out, Jeannie. Fine. Oh, excuse me. Not again. Okay, so who's in charge of this house? Well, I guess I am. Well, Buster Brown, you bought my girls, you worked them, and now you're gonna pay. No, you're gonna pay. You're Sergeant Dufus. Ralph, man, what are you doing here? Well, you know this guy? Yeah, Ralph Caron. Yeah? Yeah, Ralph Caron, D-E-A. Right, Ralph? What, is everybody a cop? <laughs> it only took us about six months to get this operation put together. Congratulations, you just flushed the major piece of business. <laughs> you look good, Mike. 28 dry days now. Still feels like one. And one not enough. What flower say? Well, he says he's got the Protection League working on it. There's still a chance. Um, I may have to go to the academy again or... I don't know, maybe sign up for some force in Orange County. <laughs> oh, that's tough. Think you could handle the cushy life down there? Hey, just give me a uniform. <laughs> no more mop swinging. Yeah. No more parking meters. Yeah. Maybe, uh... Yeah, well, um, I guess I better get going. Huh? Do they know you're coming, Mike? Uh, I called. I said, uh, said I'd stopped. I was trying. She said she'd open the door. Well, if you don't get to the door, Mike, she can't open it. Right. Mike, get out of here. Right. right. See you guys around, huh? What am I running from you for? I got nothing to hide. My eyes are 5.0. We've seen them when they were 0 0.5. Not now. Anything else you'd like to see? When'd you get out? Not soon enough. Two questions for you. What are you doing here? And where's your boyfriend? Who's that? TZ. He's nothing to me. We're looking for him. You always are. Can I go now? Stay clean. Well, 
one other quiet day at the Stratford Hotel. Something's not right. There's no buzz, but she was hinky as hell. Two Adam 35 requesting backup at 177 South Purchase. We copy two Adam 35. Go, go, up. go, 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 Same results. Days off, baby. Days off. Labrie. Sorry about your days off. Yeah, it was fun. Worth it. I never got a chance to thank you, you know, for letting me out of the, the night. <laughs> I know I didn't seem very grateful, but uh, I am. Thanks. I don't know. Did you say grateful? Yeah, grateful. How grateful? What are your intentions, officer? I think maybe I should personally interrogate you. I think you just don't quit, do you? I think it's time for an unauthorized use of a department vehicle. I think... Wait here? Uh, no. Not now. Not, not here. Why? Uh, I'm on duty. I gotta get going. Babs. Ray? Ray, are you okay? Hey, hey, hey. 
Oh, baby. Beautiful day. Indeed. Yeah. Nice day to have on. Yeah. I love a ball game last night. Wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, seventh inning. Oh. You know, I got one thing to say. If you're gonna play hardball, you, you gotta step on your stick you know, out there. You better wear your hat. So what do you guys think? You, you'll be all right? Hmm? Yeah, I'll be fine. Who? Be fine, right? Oh yeah, sure, sure, you guys. Ice? Did we get the ice? Was that a? Yeah, it's in the back, right? You put it in the back. Yep. That's good. That's good, isn't it? It's in the back. It's the best. Come on, have a shoot. No, no. No booze for this kid. I checked the statistics. Even in the worst case scenario, this world has a population problem. And I feel like I've done my share already. You know, just when I was gonna explain to you about women and no, sex no, and... No, no, no. See, the conversation has got to stay on a serious level. You know, uh, Ray, this happened before. You remember Big K. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> she was my demise. Yeah. Now, she turned you every which way but loose. We managed to develop some what of a rapport. Oh, and then there was the uh, red-headed dancer. Stop, please. I mean, if I survive this, then Never again. Lautner, can I have more, please? Everybody, that's it. Everybody pitch in. Nothing to it. To Babs. To Babs. To hey. Officer Altoon. Altoon. Wait, 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 wait. To, to women everywhere. To women everywhere. And my doctor says to me, Ray, my doctor calls me Ray. He says, just put some ice on it, stay cool a couple days, and maybe you'll be as good as new. Maybe. As good as new, Ray. Thanks for the ice, Phil. What happened to you? She, I fell off the skateboard. Oh, how did that happen? Pat jumped me. She did, huh? She jumped me, Daddy. And I wanted to ride the skateboard, too. Yeah, she was right in the mirror when I was trying to ride it. Well, 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 we've only got one skateboard, don't we? And we've got yeah. two little girls. You got to take turns, right? Yeah, but it was my turn. To ride it. How much does Dad love you guys again? I forget. This much. It was just that much. What last week it was like. That's what it was. Come here, you. Oh. Here's your copy. So, what are we supposed to do now? Celebrate. Oh, 
Maybe it's for the best. I know. In a lot of ways, we never got along. It wasn't your looks. Not yours, definitely not yours. It's not sex. No, not sex. <laughs> definitely not sex. Just you being a cop. I loved you in your uniform. <laughs> I loved you out of your uniform. <laughs> I love being a cop. Attention to duty for excellent, inventive police tactics in the assistance and apprehension of a notorious illegal massage and prostitution. Sergeant Black Donnelly goes this department commendation. Congratulations. An outstanding job, Sergeant. All quite right. As you know, commendations were handed out today. Yeah. This watch had the best recap, the best numbers, in fact, more than all the others combined. We did not, however, receive commendations. I personally have a bit of a problem not seeing rewarding those who actually go out and do the dirty work. Wherever they are, whatever their attitude, however they get it done, as long as it's righteous. But I have a little something here. When I call your names, I'd like you to come forward and receive the one and only Outstanding Order of the Midwatch. John Barney, David Lutner, Jerome Topazzini, Eugene Cardinalis, Raymond Labrie. More sumo wrestling. No, sir. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, Sergeant. Way to go. Gain my sanity. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> It'll never last. You'll be back. Don't worry, fellas. I'll stop by once in a while. Not me. <laughs> so he thinks. He's married. He's not dead. 